Today we're in Arahavat for a uh, renovation project of a uh, cozy little cottage. So here is the entrance with the courtyard in front and as you can see here you have some mature vines so it's uh, just at the end of the winter now so the, the vines are just beginning to bud. So I'm just going to give you a walk through the house. So you walk into these uh, uh, double doors here into the living area uh, and uh, kitchen area, or what would be the living and kitchen area. And up the stairs, there are two bedrooms, or actually officially there's kind of three bedrooms, but I think ideally this could be turned into uh, two good sized bedrooms with two ensuite uh, bathrooms. And uh, so this is the, the first bedroom on the, on the middle floor, two windows out to it there. And then this is the room, which is currently a bedroom, uh, which could be turned into a bathroom. And then if you go up the stairs, then you have another room in the roof level. Similar layouts, right in front of you, where you see the, uh, the covering here. Uh, I think it has permissions for a dormer window, so a dormer or a velox style window would really benefit. So again, I think you can see here, but a good size uh, bedroom. And then this area here, directly above the other bedroom downstairs, once again can be used for bathrooms, walk-in wardrobes. Um, got some great features here. If you look at the shape of this window, so you're looking at an uh, uh, arch-shaped window. Uh, if you imagine all of this wall was taken back into the original stone and nicely rendered, uh, then you have some great features. So you have lovely feature walls. Uh, and then, it's going to be tasteful, fully renovated. So we're just going back again downstairs. I'm going to take you outside. The outside also has some great possibilities too. This property has gone through the planning process to, to a certain point. It has um, uh, gone through the uh, Cultural Heritage Department for permissions for an extension and also the dormer window. This is the, the, the lengthiest process, uh, so it has those approvals. So I just want to show you the view there. So that's uh, the Kotor Bay. So you also have this uh, outbuilding here. This, you could either demolish this or actually use this. It could be quite useful if you wanted to have a pool here. A pool, a small pool could go in this area. Uh, and this area could be used for the, the service room and for a sauna, if you like. So, just going up the stairs to the back of the property. I'm just going to turn around so you can see the terrace at the front of the house. That's the one, as I say, which is covered with the mature vines. So, the stairs. So you have this kind of little garden area here. This could be a great for uh, barbecue entertainment area. And I particularly like this little area here above the uh, potential sauna, uh, which you could just rail off and then actually just have that as a little kind of a drinks deck or something like that. So, you know, put a couple of lounges there. And so that's the view from there. Uh, at the back of the property, it's actually equipped below this area here. It's equipped with a uh, water tank, but you're right next to the, the city water. So you can attach to the city water and uh, actually use the area where the water tank is as, as a room. So you could actually extend the ground floor uh, kitchen uh, area and have your uh, uh, kitchen there. And then this stone wall here will be the, the back of the room and could be so sort of, you could have a door Oh, if I can show you next door, what they've done. There we are. So that's next door. And actually have a door put in here, so from the from the middle floor uh, to use this terrace area. So going out. This is a another grand villa that's been done next to it. The I think the advantage of this is obviously the uh, it's a uh, for a renovation. It's it's in excellent condition. Uh, so you don't have to invest too much money into the structure of it. It's all probably on the cosmetic side of things. Um, the rental market would be fantastic here with the addition of a pool. You get excellent uh, returns. And I think uh, after the total uh, investment, you could probably easily be looking at uh, 
five to eight percent return on income just on the uh, summer rentals only um, and that's it so that concludes my uh, presentation of this uh, lovely stone cottage in Orahavat. Uh, my name is Peter from NT Realty please contact me on our website ntrealty.me thank you for watching